Yo, man. Yo, I apologize to anybody out there who caught a glimpse of what just happened. Um, if you don't know, my YouTube channel was just hacked, per se. Not entirely. Not entirely, though. I mean, it wasn't like they got my account password or whatever. I showed my mobile upload address in my last video, and somebody used that as an indication of just to just to just go ahead and start posting a ton of mobile porn site videos to my YouTube channel. Thank God I caught him in time, because YouTube would have ripped my penis off with a rusty hook, and I'm, I'm glad I got on top of it when I did. Gotta give a shout out to Bingu for letting my girlfriend know, and Bingu, yo, yo, I'm sorry you had to witness that shit. Yo, man, the porn, man. Someone posted some crazy foot fetish porn on my channel, them feet? <laughs> them feet, nigga? <laughs> Damn, yo. Let's go, let's go into the actual comments of my videos and see exactly what the hell you dudes were saying, man, because that shit was ridiculous, man. I guess you can consider this a comment reaction with Etigo or whatever. We gotta see what's going on, because that must have been crazy for a lot of you guys to see that level of porn posted on my channel as if it was nothing. That, that must have been some wild shit, man. It must have been. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at what some people were saying. So, um, this guy said, guys, can we all agree to stop posting Lenny faces? What the fuck do you think this is? Hell no. And posting two dirty comments too often. Look what happened in the last video. It was a foot fetish porno with the title, I Love Memes. Meaning one of our Lenny boys got too horny while reading the comments and hacked his channel. <laughs> Whoever did that, get a life and fuck off of our boy Attica. I mean... I mean, hey, now I can laugh at it. While it was happening, I was saying, I hope this bastard doesn't delete my channel. But um, then we realized after the fact that it was somebody who saw the mobile address because all the videos were mobily uploaded. And I was saying, how are these videos getting uploaded through mobile? Even like, like you know, so let's see some more comments reaction to this shit. Cause it, it's hilarious now that I think back on it, yo. Niggas had the craziest, fo they, they had fucking furry porn there's some yiffing type shit man he pulled that shit straight off of x videos and threw it on my channel yo i'm like what the fuck's going on damn bro damn bro dude went to town on my ass man youtube was about to strike my ass down i had to call the ceo of fucking tgn i think oh, my channel's getting hot yo i wish i could have caught that shit on camera i was so i was so erratic though so it was like yo man i i i wish i caught that shit on camera had to go the nintendo world championship is live on twitch we'll check that out Etika, you stupid bastard. Just kidding, we love you. I love memes. Etika, you realize the information was obviously stolen from Nintendo. International laws would back the decision for taking down the video. Nintendo was just worried that they would lose money from the release of the information. Um, you can't really be 100% sure about that. Like, right now, international laws would back the decision for taking down the video. Maybe they could have, but at the end of the day, if it's news reporting, like, you have to look into fair use laws. It's not as easy, cut and dry as that. Like, like when it comes to fair use news reporting and whatnot there's a certain standard that has to be taken in terms of um in terms of like educational purpose like this is why things are really weird with the digital millennium act right now things are really really weird and up in the air um there's a lot of people that can say that nintendo has some claim but at the same time the format makes it so you know it, it's a little bit strange um pray for etika hope he gets his channel back definitely got it back etika got his channel back now that's over who do you want in smash brothers <laughs> On 407, everyone can see your mobile email, up, oh, mobile upload email address. That's how the hacker uploaded a porn video to your channel. I didn't even realize, like, like I learned something from this experience. I never, ever knew that mobile address web browser thing could be used to upload videos to my channel. I'm going to use that shit from now on. Like, I never knew that shit could be upload videos with that link. I never knew that shit. Um... If news channels are exempt from copyright laws because of fair use laws, then why are you having problems with copyrights? I'm not. The only copyright, the only problem I'm having is the issue with Nintendo taking down the video to censor me. I never had any issue with copyright laws beforehand, other than when Capcom tried to do the same thing. They realized they were wrong, and Capcom took away their strike and took away the video being deleted. Remember the Capcom situation, because I know, I mean, I don't, I, I don't know what they were thinking, but they did the same thing. When Street Fighter V was announced, I made a video talking about it, and I didn't even show footage of it. I couldn't find footage of it because it was all deleted by Capcom. I just talked about Street Fighter V. Capcom came, deleted the video, and censored the hell out of me. And when that happened, I told Broadman and um, Capcom shortly after, they were like, oh shit, we fucked up. They removed the strike, they let the video go back up, and nothing was ever said again. So the, the, some of you are saying, these companies have the right, they have the right. In certain situations they do, but in other situations they don't. 
fair use is an extremely powerful tool of the people of freedom of speech and there's a lot of companies that kind of like step over it they act like it's not that big and there's a reason why a lot of you people don't feel like fair use is that big of a deal in the first place so oh fair use well the company's still in the right to take your videos down no they're fucking not no they are fucking not if it's in a certain format a fair use applicable then they don't have the right to take your video down and if they do then you should give them hell for it because they are in the wrong these companies seem intimidating but you gotta know your rights as a United States citizen or not even as just in the United because you know YouTube functions mostly off of United States law in the first place so you have to understand the rights of just how YouTube works and the policies and whatnot I mean they can step over a lot of people but they ain't stepping over me in some situation like I'll fight for my right to freedom of speech my rights and my constitutional given rights for being a United States citizen, man. Like, my brain is in a tizzy right now. I know I'm, like, talking a little bit off, but I mean, you know, like, don't let them walk over you, man. Don't let them walk over you. You use your fair use, man. You use it in the way that you need to. Never had a copyright issue on this channel, ever, because of the format. It's news. News reporting is... News reporting is educational value. It's applicable to fair use, and therefore, copyright laws are not as strict on that because it's for educational purpose it's for review it's for enlightening the masses and those are the things that the united states wants on its platforms so keep that in mind people okay um if i just uploaded the videos by themselves with no comment no review no breakdown no analysis then they could take it down because it's just a fucking video being uploaded but when it has a ton of other content like me reporting the news giving you guys information we going through every single bit that's news reporting that's review even if it is a leak it doesn't matter what it is. Educational purpose, fair use policy, news reporting, exempt. Um, I come ahead to you. Well, anyways, you guys know the point. I was hacked. Thankfully, things are not that way anymore. We are solid. We are Gucci. We'll be playing Smash later on. We're going to be using Ryu, Roy, and Lucas. So I'll see you guys later on in those streams. Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.